Tour. Uh, first of all, congratula congratulations on an incredible uh, match, incredible victory. While no one point can define or determine a match, that uh, it's a three all. Uh, he's serving 1540. It's double break point. You hit an incredible reflex, sprawling mm. volley, and it, it just felt like all the momentum went your way. Did you feel the significance that we all felt out there to that point, or was it just another point? Yeah. Thank you. I, 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 don't, I don't actually remember the shot that well, because all I saw the ball was coming, so I was like, listen, just make sure you get it over the net. Um, he was on the stretch, I remember that, and I was waiting the down the line. I know that's his favorite shot, but uh, let alone, um, you know, hitting a, I mean, clipping the, the tape that was uh, that was definitely no fun. I'm gonna I have to see it on a replay, but I think definitely after that I I, I kept on staying in the in the moment. Uh, I think I played an excellent game after that. Um, I didn't pull back, um, and I think that I, actually overall the last three games of the match I was very uh, I played with a lot of authority. Played serving volley a few times, came to the net three times. So that was a you know that was a moment where I knew I had to use into my advantage absolutely, but. You know, I, I didn't overthink it or anything like that. I just had to, regardless of of that point in particular, I really had to step up in order for me to win that match. Grigor, good night. Uh, Fernando Petrocelli, no. us.com USA. Grigor, congratulations for your uh, amazing run here in Miami. In the second round, you were 5-2 down against Tavilo in the tiebreak of the second set. Do you think there is a before and after, uh, after that uh, a specific moment against Javilo? Thank you. Yeah, that was no fun, I tell you that much. Uh, you know, like, <clears throat> you, you always feel like, you, for me, I always feel like I have a chance while I'm, I'm on the court, whether I'm, you know, down and about to lose a match or anything like that. So I think with each match, you, you build up. And I think after definitely after that match, I felt like I could I could step up a little bit um, uh, and play a better game. You know the conditions are very 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 different. Like throughout the day, I mean he played also an outstanding an outstanding match, and I, I saw the stats after it was actually one of his best matches. So I could you know I could definitely start building off that. And then it, after each match, I felt like I was. Um, I was getting, you know, accustomed and acclimatizing to, you know, through the weather, to the, to the, to the balls, to the courts, and everything like that. So it's been, it's been a lot of a, a lot of like difficult days overall. You know, windy, hot, humid. You know, it rained. You play at night, so it was just just a lot of uh, a lot of adjustments to be done. But I think that itself gives me a, a tremendous amount of I think of, of confidence, being able to, you know, to position myself to. Um, to prepare my body the best way possible, and of course, with each win, you get—it's uh, inevitable. You know, you just you, you get more excited. You the adrenaline kicks in. You you want to do better and more. And here we are, and the final. Grigor, um, the Renaissance continues. Um, third Masters <laughs> 1000 final, first since last mm. November, and that all-important back in the top ten. So can you just comment on, on how you're feeling about all, all of that and how difficult is it to put it to one side because the job's not finished over here? No, definitely not. Um, well, for me, uh, I think you missed one important thing. For me, is the, the, what's better above all that is that I've been able to put those matches back to back. I think the consistency of beating the top players that that to me is way bigger success than than anything else. I mean, if you do that, you get the ranking. If you do that, you're just things are getting better for you. But in order to do that, it's it's the where it all comes comes through. Uh, you know, the discipline, the hard work, the you know all the all the de the dedication, the the adjustment to to a very different uh, players throughout that time. I mean, you need to. You need to be able to to do that on a constant basis, and that's been happening for the past eight, nine, twelve months. Uh, it's been difficult. I had very, very difficult uh, matches that I've lost, and that I'm in a way.
I kept on, kept on believing, kept on doing the work, and I think that's the discipline brought me to that. Uh, I think to that moment, there's, there's nothing else. I didn't kind of deviate from, from, from my target, not even my goal. That was just I had like small targets throughout. Uh, I mean, every single week I had a target for, um, and also to be able to to put my body through through all that on on daily basis was also um, very important for me. Every single day, um, when I wake up and I don't have like a like a big pain that would stop me to to practice a hundred percent was was already a success for me. So when you start putting through that together, it's I think it's it's where I'm most in a way most proud with, and of course competing against the top players and beating them sort of back to back. It's 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 definitely um, what I'm the most um, happy with. That was part of my question of your recent success. But I wanted to know also, too, your game can be very dynamic at times, especially with a lot of finesse to it, too. So what comes to mind when you're able to, like you said, put into that practice and you see the success on the court, especially recently as of now? Yeah, it's it's, it's also it's, it's a lot of – it's a big physical game as well. I mean, it looks easy, but because of it, it's so physical – and I think, in in a way, um, you have to be able to do that for, you know, two and a half, three hours, and God knows how long more if you if you play a, a Grand Slam tournament. So it's a, I, that's what I'm saying, adjustments. But to be able to, um, to navigate some some sort of a game, it's it's um, it's just it's just different. I mean, depend depends on the opponent and how you're physically and all that. I know I know I have a lot of tools in my bag that I can use, but also I need to make sure that I use them at the right time. Um, and I think today, for example, I was able to, especially in the third set, I was able to use those um, those ones, you know, the, the finesse, you know, use the slice a little bit more, be a bit more aggressive with my forehand, serve and volley coming in. So the, the, the diversity is what I think spooks a lot of players overall. But if you're able to do it in very crucial moments, that's the in a way the the basic of the game and that positions me to do to do that and and then it helps me to be more in control of the, of, of the game Grigor, um, you had a, a special visitor in the stands today Serena was mm. watching you um, can you talk about the meaning of, of having her here supporting you yeah. like watching the match and supporting you nah she's amazing it's uh, it's always uh, I mean, we stay in touch. We nearly speak on, you know, on daily basis. And it was, um, you know, she's like, oh, I'm gonna come watch. I was like, okay, <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's it's always very honestly, always very humbling to to have, you know, such a such a supporter in in your corner. And I think just before the match, and you know, she came. We had a little chat, and it's, um, and actually, I remember she was even here when I had my first top ten win. So I think it was a, it was a very uh, a very nice moment. I think we both remember that. So. It's um, you know it's, it's it's friendship, man. It's, it's it, I think this is this is the best part. I mean, tennis is tennis, but you know we're all living our dream right now. So uh, I think the real life begins after, <laughs> and uh, I think we're we've you know we're we've managed to be such a such a good and close friends after you know after so many years. And again, to to be able to lean on, um, to share thoughts, ideas, and sometimes to even. You know, vent. Uh, someone that actually played tennis, right? Uh, it's it, it helps a lot. Hey, congratulations! Hi. Thank so, you. Uh, if you look back on your your career, like uh, tw ten or fifteen years your, of your career, you mm. are part of that generation that we which always had to compete against the very best big four, like Roger and yeah. Djokovic, um, and Andy, and, and, and Andy, Andy Murray. There you go. So. Uh, have you ever considered yourself kind of like unlucky because of that, you know, time we have to go through that era or, you know? Totally the opposite, actually. <laughs> totally the opposite. Very lucky. I mean, how often you say I was I played against in an era against the best players and you've been in them all. Wow, that's great. I'm sorry, but that's, that's I can live with that. Um, you know, all that, the titles and all this. Yeah, it's great. Um, but the journey, the ride, oh, it's it's it was for me personally uh, not having these guys around. It's 
it's a little sad. Um, I don't want to play them, don't get me wrong, but I mean, <laughs> at the moment, but <laughs> it's kind of sad. <laughs> I love watching them play, you know, I, I love competing against them and you can always learn something. Um, and I think th throughout the years of, I've had so many, you know, quarterfinal matches and third, fourth round matches where I had to play against them. But that also maybe shaped me uh, to have that mental toughness and to 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 do certain things different at that point in my career, like them. And you can certainly learn a lot from from each one. Very different. I think each one had a very different way of doing things, and but each one of them had amazing qualities. And I think they, in a way, they're the 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 pioneers of nowadays tennis for us and I think th there's I don't know I think I think overall to to have players like that with with such a diversity that the all of them had I mean Novak is still playing and Andy as well but you know to to really see to really see that is I think is going to be a little bit more rare. Last question. Udo, congratulations. Thank you, man. Um, I'd like you to to. Talk about your relationship with your coach, Jamie Delgado. I think he's part of uh, what you're doing at the moment. When you hired him, um, being back at the top 10 and at the big finals, was it the point? What did you ask him when you started to work with him? And what did he tell you in terms of potential future plans? I asked him, can you work with me? <laughs> That's all I could ask him. I was like, I'm very difficult to work with, but uh, I don't know. You should ask him that. Um, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think overall we we sat down I think a year and a half ago or so I don't even remember how long it has been and we sat with Daniel Valverdu and everyone from my team and we just um, we always wanted to add another person to to our to our team just for um, just to make sure that we cover first of all all the weeks but um, someone that, that have a, a good dynamic duel as well because it's very important for them to be connected and when Jamie came on board we I mean we kind of hit her off um, right away and I think we 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 kind of understood the importance of what we had to do every single day um, and I think he's, he's, he's definitely one of one of the um, one of the hardest workers that, that you know that that are out there that always in a way expects a good excellence from me on daily basis, but also you know being kind enough with me when I'm not recognizing that part of myself. I'm I'm very hard on myself on on weeks of practice, and I mean I think overall, but he's been able to I think to balance me up on that end a little bit more, and on good days to to keep me you know grounded and humble and aware of things, and then when I'm you know having a you know a bad day, he's 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 always kind of look things a bit more on the on the positive note and kind of keeps me. Um, Keeps like kind of rest restores my faith a little bit more, and making sure that every every next day that I'm gonna step out there on the court with a you know with a better attitude and um, good uh, working ethic. So it's been honestly it's been a pleasure so far. I think for each one uh, of the members of the team, and I think we're also in the same time we're having a lot of fun, and um, yeah, we'll keep on doing that. Right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you.